I was on my way to the laboratories of the Oradeps when Admiral Wachim caught me by surprise in the main corridor. Your attitude is unacceptable, Xerxes. In three days, the demon hordes will fall upon Aventuria. If my army is destroyed, then it'll be your ignorance which brought us down. Oh, Admiral. I know, I know, but you exaggerate. We are simple elementalists. We've withdrawn to these halls because the concerns of the world weary us. We're not warriors. You command the elements. You could set whirlwinds upon the enemy hordes with your spirits, or an infernal firestorm. Keshal Ri itself attests to your power. Floating stones are one thing. War is another. You'll have to fight your little skirmish alone. I repeated my words of the day before, emphasized that we didn't see a threat to the balance of the spheres, and even permitted myself a small sophisticated pun on the military zeal of our times, which, to my disappointment, went over his head. And then the spirits at the gate suddenly opened the portal. Are you expecting someone? No. Hmm. Welcome to the Council of the Elements. How, uh, can I help you? Is this Draconia? Yes, the Council of the Elements in Draconia. You require the services of an elementalist? My name is Sadia. I come from Fazar. Fazar? A long way. Did you come the whole way on foot? Yes. I'm here to join the Holy Army. I want to fight in the Gore. I'm afraid I have nothing to do with that. Let me know if you learn any more about him. What can you do? Can you fight? Use magic? I'm looking for a prince. I'm supposed to give him this mask. That's is. Take her to the prince. But I'd rather... At once. <laughs> if you'd follow me... I must admit we are a bit, uh, how shall I put it, surprised by your arrival. Not many people stray here. To be honest, it's also a blessing for me. The Admiral is beginning to get on my nerves. Did you know that Draconia was built by dragons? All the wonders of this world in one place. And behind every passageway lies a new surprise. And that man wants us to drop everything and fight in his ridiculous little war. Can you imagine it? May I ask what's so special about this mask? It takes away people's memories and turns them into slaves. That doesn't sound very pleasant. I was told to bring it here. That's all I know. It looks very old. As though from a very long forgotten time. Ah, time. Isn't time an astonishing thing? At first glance, everything in Draconia seems so gigantic, and we seem so small. But that is nothing in comparison to the monumental size of the time which slumbers in these halls. According to our understanding, this is the oldest structure in Aventuria. Almost as old as time itself. I hope you have healthy lungs. This stairway is horrible. And here's another ancient wonder that leaves us absolutely awestruck. A star system, but fascinatingly not our own. Who built it? And why? Does it show the past? Or a distant future? I propose that it shows both. And another staircase. Ah, the zucchini. I love zucchini. Why is Draconia so empty? 
I thought you were about to go to war. Where's the army? Wrong. We, that is the Council, have decided to stay out of this war. We're being pressured to change our minds, but as long as the balance of the spheres isn't disturbed, we see no reason to do so. Blast it. Does that mean there's no army here? Yes, there is. Over there. The Flying Fortress Keshal Ri. A masterpiece of elemental air magic. Do you have any more questions before I take you to the Prince? Who is the Prince? The fortress is carried by hundreds upon hundreds of air spirits bound in special crystals, so-called floating stones. The Prince is a master of domination magic. He ensures that the spirits remain in the stones and do what is asked of them. But why a prince? As Admiral Vahim always puts it so nicely, in times like these, one takes what one can get. The Holy Army is in the fortress? Yes, an entire army of clerics. A second army is currently marching from Zorgan to Gore. In three days, the two forces will meet right before the plateau and enter the battle together. All that effort just to die. Tragic. What's wrong with your legs? I was born with very weak legs. So weak that they didn't grow with the rest of my body. Since then, an air spirit has carried me through life. Take me to the fortress. I must see this prince. And once again, you draw hasty, false conclusions. The prince is no longer in the fortress, but rather here, in this hole. Take my hand. Right, there we are. <laughs> I lured you into a pretty trap, eh? Yes, the prince is a prisoner, and yes, you played into his hands. Do you have anything to say in your defense? What did he do? He tampered with the floating stones of the Flying Fortress. He is evil, and thus we've taken him prisoner. You don't know anything about this? This room is a prison? Draconia has no dungeon, so we had to do a bit of thinking. We're directly above the Sphere's observatory here. The magic of the observatory keeps the matrix of this room stable, which makes it impossible to do magic here. You understand the principle? No. Well, it's really quite simple. What does the Prince want with the mask? Who knows? I didn't even know until now that such an artifact existed. Let me go. I brought the mask here under a misunderstanding. I'm innocent. I know. On the way up here, I cast a few spells on you. I know that you mean no evil. Well, then? Hmm. Before I let you go, give me the mask, your staff, and the dagger. It can be no other way. Now all that's missing is the dagger and the staff. Once was enough. And now the dagger. I'll be right back. Whoever you are, thank you for bringing it here. Had I known you were behind this, I would have thought twice about it. Hello, Kasim. It's me, Sadia. Sadia? <laughs> Sadia! How long has it been? Since you had me thrown out of the palace. Long enough to leave those times behind me. As if anything has changed since then, I'm still the sole heir of the Mogul dynasty. And you, you're nothing. That's where you're mistaken. 
I'll go into battle against the demon hordes, and I will triumph. All of Avastan will know my name, and everyone will fall to their knees before me in awe. <laughs> you really believe that? You can't change who you are, Sadia. You'll always be the same person you always were. Second class. Insignificant. My name, on the other hand, my name will be Immortal. Take my hand. I'll take you to a more comfortable place. How do you think they knew each other? He is a prince. She's a princess. Maybe they're siblings. What I find much more puzzling is how the maid knew about their conversation. He wasn't there. And yet it's written in his journal. Keep reading. I took the woman to her chambers. It was obvious that she knew the prince. Yet I still couldn't find any malevolence in her. In order to keep an eye on her, I commanded one of my invisible air spirits to continue watching her. Aha! Uh -huh. I'll leave you alone now. Get some rest. You'll need your strength tomorrow when we send you home. I didn't come here only to be sent back. You were the instrument of a traitor. I doubt Admiral Vahim's going to welcome such a person to his fortress. Let me talk to him. There's water on the table. I'll have fresh vegetables brought to you soon. We'll meet again at dawn. Good night. If you won't talk to the Admiral, then I'll do it myself. And please stay in your room. No! I must join the battle. Let me talk to the Admiral. I'm truly sorry, but no. And now, please go back and sleep. <gasps> the leaves are swaying in the wind, but there's no wind here. Hey, you. You're an air spirit, aren't you? Come to me. Let's play. Let's play hide and seek. We'll both hide from the mages. Hmm. What shall we do? They would find us right away in this room. Now, where shall I put it?
Hmm. The horns can be turned. What is that? It sounds like a whisper. The whisper is getting louder. You must find the garden. The name is in the garden, and without the name, the mask is worthless. I know, but where shall I begin? No one here knows where it is, let alone whether it even exists. It does exist, but to find it, you need the mask. I'm so close. While the most powerful men in Avistan smash heads in the Gorian Desert, I'll restore the realm of my fathers, and there will be no one left to stand in my way. Is this the same garden the staff spoke of? What is Kasim planning? Is that her? Yes, but what is she doing here? Admiral? I thought the evil mage had locked you up in his tower. Yes, but I jumped out of the window. <laughs> I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship, eh, Wahim? Take me with you to the battle. I won't disappoint you. And she has courage. Yes, but no weapon. Besides, she almost played into Kasim's hands. I think it's too risky. I didn't know about the Prince's plan. I heard. But how do I know that you won't unknowingly aid him again? As long as we don't know his plans, I won't take any further risks. You want to learn the Prince's plans? Then let me see him. Out of the question. That could be exactly what he wants. Stay away from that bastard. What sort of weapon do I need in order to come with you? We're fighting against demons, so something blessed would be good. Bring me some kind of weapon and my companion will take care of the blessing. He is a deont. <laughs> Dion't would be more like it. Ariarchos, please. What do you know about the battle? It is said that the demon lord Borborad is planning an invasion of the damned in the Gorian Desert, and Rohal the Wise will oppose him. Rohal's troops have been preparing for the big day for months in Zorgan. Meanwhile, more and more demon scum are forcing their way out of Borborad's portal into the Gorian Desert. A lot of effort for a slaughter that will only last a few hours. However it may end, it will change Aventuria forever. Why a flying fortress? No matter what, we must prevent the plague of demons from spreading. That's why we're carrying the battle directly to Borborad's door. No living thing has ever faced so many creatures from the Nether Hells as we will in three days' time. You should know, demons are tough, nearly invincible. One must lure them onto sacred ground in order to defeat them. And since we can't do that, we'll bring the sacred ground to them. Keshal Ri is a monumental floating temple built to carry the light of the gods into the middle of the armies of darkness. Why are you anchored outside Draconia? The Air Elementalists helped us build Keshal Ri. We had hoped they would continue to support us. But they're only interested in elements and the harmonies of the spheres, not in politics. No matter how bloody. The Council will merely send a group of observers on board but no more than that. Good. Then there'll be someone who can tell the world about me. <laughs> that would be much too selfless for that bunch. The Elementalists have long planned to withdraw from the fate of the world. They expect that the battle will make this decision easier for them. In other words, they hope it'll be so disgustingly bloody that they'll never have to leave their little ivory tower again. If that ivory tower still exists at that point,
What will it be like to fight against demons? Horrible. There's nothing more terrible than being exposed to the madness of such a creature. They don't act or think as we do. Their bodies are not made of flesh and blood. And they're almost invulnerable to common magic. How does one kill something like that? With blessed weapons. A lot of luck, courage, and a gigantic flying fortress. Does it matter what sort of weapon I bring you? Something you fought with before. Leave everything else to my cleric. I eavesdropped on the prince. He's looking for some garden. He wants to use it to seize power after the battle. Surely not the Garden of Oblivion. You know something about it? Well, yes. It's just a legend, but... They say there's a hidden cave somewhere in the Rashtulian Wall, near the volcano Rashtul Kancharot. The cave bears the name the Garden of Oblivion, because everything that takes place there is forgotten by time itself, whatever that means. Does the legend also mention a mask? Yes, there was something about that, but I'd have to do some research to be sure. That doesn't sound like something I need to concern myself with. If Kasim's attention is really on a cave in the Rashtulian Wall and not on the battle, then he's no longer my problem, so we can safely turn our attention towards our actual goal. The Garden of Oblivion? Have you ever heard of that? No, never. But this story gets stranger from page to page. I may be mistaken, but something about this garden feels wrong. I can't say what just yet. Keep reading. Admiral Wachim turned a deaf ear to every warning, but I felt the danger emanating from this garden. The girl, on the other hand, had tasted blood. I think she imagined the garden was something that could help her achieve her ambitions. Only she didn't know precisely how. Bless this weapon for me. A simple dagger. I'm fast and agile with it. It has done me loyal service. That's enough for me. However, the blessing will take some time. Pick it up from me later. Well, are you taking me with you or not? I don't know what you think, Wahim, but I like her. All right then, we set sail at dawn. Rest until then. The courts in Keshal Ri are far less comfortable than those here. <clears throat> You've come just in time, Xerxes. The girl has just joined our army, which in my eyes makes her a good bit more sensible than your entire council. Hmm. All right. If you vouch for her, as long as she doesn't hurl us all into disaster, I don't care. <laughs> He didn't like that at all. Quite right. Well, back to the fortress for me. Here's to a glorious battle, you two. I'm going to look round the library a bit. The talk of this Garden of Oblivion has made me curious. I hear a whisper, like something evil lives there. What's that? In the center of the darkness, there's a pedestal, and on top of that, feels like a lamp. I'll take it. Huh? Did the darkness come from the lamp then? Jin in these halls has shown me the way to an ancient text. It's one of the few in which the Garden of Oblivion is mentioned. And? It's a travel log by a mage named Harlef Ben Jalif. He was a servant of one of the Mughal mages and sent out to find the garden. 
Which mogul mage? The last of the moguls, Malakar. Unfortunately, he never found the garden. And fearing punishment, he began to hide from his master's lackeys. He feared that if he were found, they would, here I quote, first place the mask on me, and then transform me into a lifeless artifact. What sort of artifact? Who knows? Perhaps a ring, or a bracelet. Or a staff? <laughs> Those old moguls really knew how to ruin someone's life. What was his name again? He was called Halef Ben Jalif. I wonder if they ever caught him. What else do you know about Ben Jalif? Not much. He was given the mask and sent out to find the garden. That's all it says here. What does the log say about the garden? It says that some sort of magic word is buried in the garden. A word that will awaken the true power of Malakar's mask, and that three secret chambers will point the way there. The rest is just incoherent nonsense. Are you sure? Yes. The search for the garden must have gone to Jalif's head. He babbles that the place was created by an ancient entity, a servant of time, and that Satinav, the Lord of Time, separated the garden from our spheres, so that nothing that happens in the garden would have consequences for our reality. Then there's something about lies that become truth and, and a hole in the Book of Time. Obviously the inventions of a half-wit. Three chambers show the way? Yes. Their entrances are located somewhere in Draconia. Keep an eye out for this symbol. You can have the pages, if you like. Thank you. However, to open the chambers, you need to have the mask with you. Until you have the mask, there's no point in searching for the chambers. Are you inciting me to steal? <laughs> I'm only here to pass on knowledge. What you do with it is your business, and yours alone. The garden was created by a servant of time? Correct. They say this servant sleeps in the three chambers and waits for a mage to wake him. Does it have to be a mage? Yes. Only the presence of magic will disturb his sleep. Who is Satinav? Satinav is the guardian of time. He watches over the Book of Time and makes sure that no one disturbs or changes the things written there. Has anyone ever seen him? No, he's only a legend. There's a spell buried in the garden which will waken the true power of the mask? What is its true power? It says here that the mask presents its bearer with a choice. He either decides for sweet oblivion or to undo things which once happened, as if they never came to pass. That sounds very powerful. <laughs> oh yes, oh yes, it does. More than a few would murder for such power. If I want to enter the garden, I have to find the three chambers first, right? Yes, but before that, you need Malakar's mask, and then you must find and complete all three eye symbols. If I want to enter the garden, Yes, but before that, you need Malakar's mask, and then you must find and complete all three eye symbols. The garden was created by a servant of time? Correct. They say this servant sleeps in the three chambers and waits for a mage to wake him. Does it have to be a mage? Yes. Only the presence of magic will disturb his sleep. That's enough for now. You know, I find it curious that you've never heard anything about this at all. I noticed your tattoo. You're a descendant of Malachi yourself, aren't you? Have you learned nothing from your forefathers? No, I'm hearing about all this for the first time. And our prince, above the observatory. He's your brother, isn't he? I just wonder what drives you. 
An uncanny determination glows in your eyes. Either you'll achieve the impossible, or you'll descend into the deepest madness. I won't be stopped. I only want to warn you. Please, take care of yourself. Xerxes! Calm down. I'm allowed to leave my room now. Mm-hmm. What sort of room is this? A workshop. And what do you do here? As an ore elementalist, I study stones and crystals. And dangerous artifacts. Those too. What are you studying now? An elemental sphere. Don't bother me, I have a good feeling right now. The work is going very smoothly. What do you know about this mask here? I don't like it. It gives me an uneasy feeling. Examine the mask. Later. When later? Please! Stop harassing me with your annoying questions. I feel good about this sphere right now. I need to make use of this inspiration. You only research things that give you a good feeling? I associate warmth and light with the sphere. With the mask, I associate only cold flesh and death. Does that answer your question? I know now who you are. Your name is Halef ben Jalif. You were Malachar's servant. He sent you to find the Garden of Oblivion, but you only made it as far as Draconia. As a punishment, the mask was placed on you. Your memory was stolen, and you were made into what you are now. Yes. What did the staff say? It's not written here. The air elementalist could only write down what his spirit observed, not what happened in Saj's mind. Rats! I've been waiting for this moment for so long, and now this. So you're a victim of the mask yourself. I suppose I can forgive you. My good feeling about the sphere is fading, but I still feel it.
I would break off my work on the sphere, but there's no good alternative at the moment. The mask no longer seems quite so repellent, but I still get bad vibrations from it. How can something so beautiful conjure such ill feelings? Time to devote myself to something nicer. So that's it. Is there anything new? The mask is a reservoir. It stores memories. Sure, by draining them from people. Yes, but that's trivial. What's really fascinating is that it stores everything which happens around it. It's as though it observes the world in silence and takes note of everything. If we were to succeed in reversing its effect, we would have access to an enormous archive of past times. I have a good feeling about this. How can the magic of the mask be reversed? That sort of thing takes time. I would attempt to weave a modification of a reverse salis into a gemstone and then attach that to the mask. If the spell inside the mask is then recited, it should have the converse effect. Instead of emptying the wearer, it would begin to transmit stored memories to him. Take this ruby, weave the reversal spell into it, and reverse the effect of the mask. I told you, it isn't that easy. First, I need to examine the quality of the stone, possibly grind it again. We don't have time for that. I want to know what the mask knows. Do as I tell you. Such an intervention is dangerous. I need everything I can get my hands on in order to survive in the gore. Hmm. My life is at stake here, so do it. You'll now become either completely stupid or entirely enlightened. Fadan Faskadan Esplasta Kvatan Umurilor Gras Farel Goran Hul Bemutir Gerul Felun Juntir Kvatan Feluntir Zudan 